It could have been disastrous. An explosion and fire involving chemicals at one of the tri-state's biggest employers. But no one was hurt at GE's Evendale location tonight. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir was on the scene during the emergency and has new information about why the situation wasn't a whole lot worse. Sayed? Well, Clyde, the building where the explosion happened houses three large hydraulic compressors, and shortly after the explosion, crews realized some hydraulic fluid had been released. Now, it was a very busy scene this evening as dozens of firefighters from nine different agencies responded to building 300 on the GE complex in Evendale. The explosion blew out two walls of the building, but no one was inside. Fire crews say most of the material inside the building was metal and did not catch fire, so crews were able to quickly control the fire. G has its own fire department and a massive network of computers that monitor its systems. Fire crews say those systems worked very effectively and limited any potential danger to the community. They have an extensive system for uh, containing uh, fluids that might be released here at GE, and that is working properly, so there's never any danger to the community or to the Mill Creek or any other waterways in the area. Now, crews were on the scene for several hours after the explosion. They will be back again tomorrow to continue their search for a cause. Crews tell me that it could be a day or two before they determine a specific cause. We will be following it and bring you any information as it develops. Clyde? Okay, say, Ed, thanks. Blue